Welcome back to Star News here in Martinsville, and we're going to tell you about a pursuit that happened in the uh, city of Martinsville in which uh, left one woman injured as a result of this head-on collision that uh, apparently the uh, uh, Martinsville police were in investigating a um, stolen vehicle. Let me get my paperwork order here. And um, the Marshall Police received information Saturday night that around 9:17, a possible stolen vehicle being driven recklessly in 220 South and 58 West. The vehicle was described as a green Ford Ranger, which had been reported stolen earlier from a location in Henry County. Martinsville officer Robbie Haynes spotted the vehicle traveling north on Memorial Boulevard near Bridge Street a few moments later. After getting behind the suspect vehicle on Memorial Boulevard, the vehicle made a left turn on Fayette Street traveling west and continued running at a high rate of speed. The operator of the vehicle lost control of the truck near Pony Place and struck a 2008 Spectra. The suspect's vehicle went down an embankment and the driver fled on foot. Officers arrested the suspect a short distance from the accident scene. The following charges were placed in reference to the incident against James Michael O'Neill King. These are the following charges that were lodged against Mr. King. And Mr. King was from um, 164 Fallen Tree Lane, Arad, Virginia, 30-year-old, felony hit and run, felony elude law enforcement, possession of stolen property, DUID and reckless driving and operating a motor vehicle with a suspended license. To say the least, you can see the damage here was quite extent. There's the vehicle he had stolen. Uh, the young lady, and it does, the press release doesn't mention her name or any information about her, but I do know that she was uh, in surgery day before yesterday for a broken femur. She was very fortunate to be alive. Turning to other news, another invasion, home invasion, folks, and uh, this comes from Henry County Sheriff's Department. Happened, uh, um, well, let's just let's just read it right off the press. Henry County Sheriff's Department investigating a home invasion robbery that occurred at 525 Sledgefield Drive, Martinsville. The Martinsville Henry County 911 Center received the call on the 13th of December at around 12:21 um, a.m. Bear with me. I'm got too much paperwork here. Okay, the incident, the victim. Um, the home invasion had to do with Thomas Lovelace. He was the victim, and he stated that he heard a knock on the door, his residence, answered the door, and a female asked to use the telephone. Mr. Lovelace allowed the female to enter. A male forced his way into the residence. The male displayed a knife and took the victim's wallet containing $3,000 in cash and credit card and debit cards. The two telephones and the victim's truck keys. The suspect fled in the area in a white Chevrolet Malibu. Short time later, the suspect's vehicle was spotted and the vehicle pursued. Marina Elizabeth Lopez was taken into custody and charged with robbery, felony, attempt to elude police, felony, and reckless driving, misdemeanor. She was jailed without bond. Lopez, 19 years old, resident of 1446 West West Fayette Street, apartment 25, Martinsville. An arrest warrant was issued for Ryan Damon Porter for robbery. Porter 22 resides at 102 Pony Place in Martinsville. Anyone that has any information, this is the vehicle they pursued. Um, I, um, went down, uh, came off um, 687, the Preston Road came down 609 through Rangeley, 
and then took a left there on the great road and um, pulled up at a trailer park. Everybody stopped and got out and ran. Of course, they got the female. She wasn't able to run. Had her in custody. Do not know uh, any further details, but we're waiting to hear about the other two arrests. There were two other people on foot that fled that area. Folks in that area may uh, wondering what the police were doing out there. Well, that's what was going on, and that was about um, 1.30 in the morning. All right, stay with us. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back.